essentially, what's going to happen with these crops is eventually nature's going to find a way. And they're going to need to employ new pesticides and new engineering within the crops to actually keep surviving and being profitable. Now, the introduction of animal DNA is a very interesting subject within this. Because what's actually happening there is it's preventing plants from being replanted. No fertile seed can be recovered from a GMO crop. And the reasons for this are quite simple. If you take the DNA of an animal like a rat, which has a limited lifespan, and insert that into a seed, essentially that seed will not produce a fertile, uh, a, that plant will not produce a fertile seed that can be replanted the following year. And that's because the DNA has been altered and its lifespan has been terminated. This is referred to as terminate seeds. And this technology is being developed by companies like TFT in order to monopolize the world food market. If you can't harvest your seeds to replant the following year, then you have to buy new seeds. And these seeds come from the same company. These seeds are also patented, which means that if you don't own the patent or the copyright on that patent and you're growing these seeds, you can be shut down. This is what I was talking about, about the crops being destroyed in Haiti. Because what happens as well is that these seeds will cross with the local population and local contaminants will take place will eventually show traces of this painting. Now, in Mexico, they had a lot of laws set up in place that meant no GM products. And this was going very well for them for quite a while. Um, each region had their own specific corn. And some of these were, were elaborate varieties. There was blue corn, there was different succulent, all kinds of corn. And the American trade with Mexico allowed uh, certain industrial corn to come into Mexico. And this corn, which had been discarded in rubbish tips and waste sites, was growing and crossing with the local population, thus contaminating all the regional <coughs> corn and leaving the government with no choice but to allow these GMO products. 98% of all corn in Mexico was found to have traces of GMO products within it, even though the farmers had just been using their regular... What's happened then, as a result of this, is that TFT have come in and started to claim that this is their product, thereby shutting down local farmers and monopolising the food market. So the wider implications then. Terminator seeds. Those that own the grain, own the farms, own the animals, own all food. Everything you eat could be traced back to grain. And if these companies are dominating this market by owning the patents on these <coughs> seeds, then year to year they're reselling and local farmers can't afford it. They're being wiped out. And what's ended up happening is that one company now owns 82% of all corn production. Cancer case. Sorry. You're coming with me? Stay there. Uh, Sol! Sit down. Go. Okay, go. Okay, it's TFT playing the joke here.